welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little project uh, last week I was so lucky to fix my multimeter this very nice fluke 85 the first generation and it was the display that had a bad connection to the to the print board something and that got me thinking because I had this little this is like a nothing it's like a it's a little clock radio thing that I use right beside my bed up here and I can almost not see what it says anymore and the, the digits over at the at the clock part they only work if I'm very lucky and press the right, right spot here you can see the time is 9.28 right now and I thought well now that I was so lucky with the, with the multimeter I might be lucky with this little thing as well so I wanted to take it apart and see if it's something as simple as the multimeter. So we're gonna do that. So we're taking it apart. I'm just gonna disconnect the power. Oh, we might have to take off the batteries. Let's see. I must admit this this little thing didn't work very long. It's not an expensive thing, it's like 17, 18 dollars. About a hundred kronos. Mm, it's, yeah. Humidity sensor and that's for measuring the temperature. to take some more apart. It's a little weather station as well. It's you can set an alarm clock and you can see what the what the temperature inside is and what the humidity is. If I break it, I break it. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over this. Still working. Yeah, probably the same thing. Here is the big zipper stripe for getting the the data over to the display so I think I might be able to clean that in the same manner that I I fixed the multimeter. I think I'm gonna disconnect the batteries before I do anything stupid. Should probably already have done that. This is this is really poorly put together. Damn. Well, no problem. I've been upstairs and I got my bottle of acetone. And we're gonna put some lip right there. And I have these. And we're gonna clean the circuit. Right here. And right there. Seems to be the only places where the well the connection from the zebra stripes goes over. Let's see what we got here. Can we take this apart? We can. And we have the display down there. Piece of paper. 
and the colors are kind of decided they've like printed on the display with different colors very inventive i'm gonna take oh oh it's it's like two pieces of plastic okay Take the zebra stripes off and the display. Oops, the buttons. <clears throat> I knew that. <clears throat> Hopefully, they're alike. And we're gonna clean off the display connections. Down here. Make sure that that is very clean. back Gotta put this back as far as I can remember let's see it's, oh, it's the wrong way And I'm going to clean the zebra stripes. Funny enough, this doesn't seem nearly as dirty as the multimeter. I would have expected that. Because the multimeter was actually working a lot better than this one is. So I would have expected that it would have been more dirty. Okay, let's get rid of this plastic thing for just a little bit. Put this back on. There we are. Looks like that there are small holes for the buttons. Looks good. And this thing back on. I have no idea if this is gonna work. <laughs> I think I messed up. Uh, I think the the color codes are wrong. The piece of colored paper in there is upside down. And the lights are not the display is very clear now. You can see the numbers over here. They're very clear. Uh, to what they were before, but uh, well, I think I will live with it. I really don't understand why the, the, the density is so low, but now I can read the displays anyway. But in nighttime, this is pretty clear. In daytime, mm, not so clear. Kind of, it's kind of okay. Let's 
possible to all the numbers are, are being lit up but I think the light diodes that are supposed to light them up is the acetone and we're gonna put back the leftover ah, not much of it hit the bottle I kind of fixed it it's the numbers are readable um, but the light diodes inside of it probably very 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 bad I should probably just replace this but you can't come and say that I didn't give it a try thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and give me a thumbs up please have a nice day